Okay, we have here today another integral from the UNSW integration B 2020. This one's problem 19. We have the integral from 0 to pi over 2, 25 over 3 cos x plus 4 sin x, all squared dx. Okay, this is actually a problem I just did, but I wanted to do it again using an alternative method. Now, in the other video, what I did is I took what we have here inside the parentheses, and I just rewrote this using the angle difference formula for cosine. What I want to do now is actually quite a bit different. Instead of messing with that at all, what I'm going to do is just multiply the whole integral by 1 by multiplying by secant squared x over secant squared of x. So distributing this in, first I'm going to take the 25 and just bring it outside of the integral, but it's a constant value. So in the numerator, we're going to have just secant squared x dx. Now in the denominator, secant squared x is the same as 1 over cosine squared x. When we bring it inside of the square, it's going to be just multiplying a cosine x. So for this first term, we're just going to have a 3 here. And then for this term, it's going to become plus 4 sine over cosine x, or I can write this as tan x, and this is all squared. But then, because we have a tangent here, the derivative of tangent secant squared dx in the numerator. So we're in good shape for actually, so we're in good position to do a u substitution. So what I'll do is I'm going to make all of this my u. So we'll say u is 3 plus 4 tan x. I'll take a derivative, then du is going to be just 4 secant squared x dx. So then in order to get my numerator to match the du value, I'm just going to create a 4 right here, multiplying in a 4, but we'll just need to divide by 4 so we don't change it. Then I'll just go ahead with this. So first we need to update our bounds. So when we put pi over 2 in the tangent, it's going off to infinity. So this whole upper bound is going to be just infinity. Then we plug a 0 in here, tan of 0, 0, but we still have this 3 here. So now again, this is all going to be du, everything in the numerator. This is going to be u squared. I'll bring it into the numerator and write it as u to the minus 2, just trying to set a power rule on this. So then we'll integrate. We have 25 over 4. This is going to become u to the minus 1, and we're going to need to bring a minus out front. And we just need to evaluate this from 3 to infinity. Well, this u to the minus 1, I'm actually just going to rewrite this. I want to, I like it better if we write it as 1 over u. So now we'll evaluate this. And we evaluate this at infinity because we end up with infinity in the denominator. The first term is just going to 0. So we don't have to worry about that. Now, for the second term, we have minus. Then let's just write this all out clearly. We'll have minus 25 over 4. And this 1 over u is going to become 1 over 3. But minus times minus is plus. Multiplying this together for my final solution, I just get 25 over 12. Okay, I think I would say this method's more straightforward, but maybe not faster. Maybe they're about the same speed. Maybe the other one's more interesting. Anyway, to me, they're both fine. So we'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.